Thanks for joining me on another exciting video. We got our Hulkbuster here. And as you know, if you watch my videos that we just unboxed this, we reviewed it. We got our jackhammer arm here. This is the Hulkbuster Deluxe. We got our Mark 43 up here. And I think we got a good pose. We got the knee up there. I know in my video I was having problems with that. But if you take that, that, uh, you know, that piece off the chest, you could actually bring his knee up. And you know, he has some movement in his torso, so you can, you can do some pretty cool poses up there. And he's pretty steady, just like this. I don't think I even need the string or anything to, to support this. So anyway, the reason for this video, we're gonna do a whole Buster Showdown. And why am I doing that? It's just because after I got this Hulkbuster, I was looking at all the other Hulkbusters and comparing and I was really tempted to get another Hulkbuster, one of the XM Studios or the Imaginarium Arts. They are so awesome and I couldn't really make up my mind. So I decided to do a video on a comparison between this, the XM and the Imaginarium Arts. Those are basically the big three Hulkbusters. They have a, all have pros and cons and that's the purpose of this video. If you're thinking about getting one or you just need some information, we're gonna go through the size, the addition, the design, the price. We're gonna go pretty much everything, the pros and cons, and maybe uh, we'll make up your mind. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go through those. Let's go ahead and use this template. We're gonna go ahead and put the hot toys on the left. We're gonna put Imaginarium Arts in the middle. We're gonna put the XM Studios on the right. And we're actually gonna just go through all those, uh, the specifications on all of them. And uh, just let, like I said, we're gonna do a simple comparison for this. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so starting out with the measurements, you got the Hot Toys Hulk Buster at 22 inches tall of the shoulder, but Iron Man also adds seven inches, so in total it's 29 inches, 19 inches wide and 11 inches deep. So even though this is a six scale figure, it's still really tall at 29 inches, very comparable to the other two. The biggest difference is gonna be that this, you know, this doesn't have a base, it's, very space saving so this is going to be a little bit, bit more friendly on putting this into a, a display so you can put this in your cabinet or detolf i don't know if you'll be able to use iron man there imaginarium arts monstrous 31.5 inches tall so this thing is a behemoth it's 29.5 inches wide 25 inches deep so it doesn't matter which way this thing is just monstrous so you're not gonna be able to use the detop on this. This one's gonna be, take a lot of space. So you're probably gonna need your own table for this one. Um, in comparison to the XM Studios, height wise, it's running 28.5 inches tall. The Iron Man on this one only adds 3.5 inches just because it's, uh, it's sunken down a little bit there. 32 inches in total, so this thing's a beast. 30 inches wide and 24.5 inches deep. So very comparable to Imaginarium Arts. These are both quarter scales. Both, both have really big bases. So you're gonna have to make plans to find a space for this, for those two, because they are just monstrous. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next category, which is the addition size. And of course the addition size is going to determine the value and determine the rarity of the item. So we always look at that. We're gonna start with the Hot Toys. Unfortunately, Hot Toys almost never has addition sizes. You know, Hot Toys is so big and they're all, they have more of like a sales ideal. So they almost never have addition sizes. Imaginarium Arts 500, so a very good addition size, considering they're not well known, so you're not gonna see too many of those Hulkbusters. XM 999, they like that number, and considering they are well known all over the world, 999 is very generous, and that is really cool of XM to keep their addition sizes small, which is why a lot of people like XM, so hopefully they keep it that way. Okay, so the next category is the price. We're gonna to have to categorize this. Since some are new, some are old, we're gonna go by the retail price from when it was new, the last sold prices on eBay, the current price, which you can get it for today, and the shipping cost. 
So for Hot Toys, $11.50 is the cost, but that's not including Iron Man, which is about $400. Bucks. So um, last sold price is, you know, there's no last solds, but it's the last version sold for plus $300, roughly. Current price, of course, $11.50, but again, $400 bucks for the Iron Man. And shipping, $37 for me, but that's in California. It's probably going to be around, I think, uh, around $100, bucks, $125 bucks maybe. Imaginarium Arts, last sold prices are $19.99. Retail price when it was new in 2016 was $17.68. The current price from what I see is between $21 and $24.50. That's pretty much the average. Shipping's gonna be expensive. Two boxes around probably seven, eight hundred bucks. XM Studios, $26.80 when it was new. Last sold price are vast. I mean, they, there's a big range of $33.99 was the last sold and $23.75. So, but I can say on average in the buy sell trades, I see them usually between $24, $2,600. But you also remember shipping's not going to be cheap. $1,200, probably $1,000 to $1,200, just depending, depending where you live. But the boxes are very heavy and they're gigantuous, so it's not going to be cheap. Okay, so the next category is the pros and cons. This is probably the most important of the video. I pointed out the obvious ones that I saw. There's probably a lot more that you see. A lot more. A lot of you are more meticulous than I am, but these are kind of just the obvious of what I saw. Starting with the hot toys, the first thing, of course, the die cast Iron Man. We all have those. This is no different. They just made the same quality and construction just a bigger version in the Hulkbuster so that same quality same awesome quality that those diecast figures always are one of the biggest pros is this is functional it has a lot of moving joints I think it was over 30 articulations so you could put this in many poses so I guess that's going to be one of the advantages of this and of course, you have the Iron Man Incorporation. I mean, that's really important. I liked how they added the Mark 43 in this. I guess you could use any other six scale, but I guess that would be the most appropriate. No base. So the, the size is one thing, but it, yeah, it doesn't have that base. So actually, you can configure this in your display any way you want. It's very space saving at 19 inches wide and 11 inches deep. You can. Uh, Pretty much put this in your cabinet on a flat surface, whatever you want. Price, $11.50 and low cost of shipping. Those are going to be the biggest pros. Imaginary Marts, of course, editioned at $500, a very low edition. In comparison to the Hot Toys, you know, there's, you know, there's no limits on how many Hulkbusters of the Hot Toys are going to be out there. But the Imaginarium, you're not going to see too many of those pieces. Even now, you don't see many for sale on eBay and if you do they're usually uh, you know very high priced I put a term on this one beast mode because it really has the ultimate presence I'm not talking about just regular presence I'm talking just crazy in your face beast mode so I, that's gonna be one of the biggest pros it's gonna definitely be an eye catcher and of course, you got a lot of swap outs. That's the cool thing about this statue is the swap outs. You have the attack and defensive mode. The attack, you could pose it with another figure like a Hulk or something in a defense mode. Kind of gives it a little more space saving and it's a it just changes the whole dynamic of the statue. And they also came out with a new jackhammer arm for that left arm, which is pretty cool. And I'll uh, put a picture on here for that and then um like i said it's an action pose hulkbuster so it's not hulkbuster just chilling there he's actually in action there pros for xm of course high quality xm pieces are always the highest of quality so that's pretty much going to be a pro for any xm piece ultimate beast mode once again you're going to have the ultimate presence even more than the imaginarium on this on this piece because it just has so much girth and there's actually more going on especially with the with the base the actual hulkbuster the surfaces and you have iron man just popping out of there in action which is really cool 
Edition size is a big plus, 999. I love that number with XM Studios. It seems like uh, recently they've been upping those edition sizes, but I hope they keep them low like they have because that makes their pieces so much more special. And then you have the Iron Man Incorporation, and I like how it's keyed in there. And um, I, just having Iron Man there is really cool, just like the Hot Toys, but this one's keyed in there, so it's gonna be very stable and it has its own base. Then you have um, the dynamic of it. If you put Iron Man in there, it basically makes it an Iron Man statue. It's you're looking at Iron Man, he's in action, he's doing something with like an inanimate Hulkbuster. Now, if you take Iron Man out, you could put it on its own base and put it to the side and put the Hulkbuster together. And the focus is on Hulkbuster, like the Hulkbuster is in action, which is a really cool feature of this statue. It just has two really big dynamic poses uh, with or without Iron Man. They didn't chintz out on the base. The base is very detailed. In comparison to Imaginarium Arts, they didn't really do a good job, but XM, they did not chintz out on the base. The base is extra detailed. And also this one's porcelain. So it's kind of like a uh, polystone, but it has the porcelain in it to give it that sheen. So that's why it has that very unique, shiny metallic look. Okay, now we're going to look at the cons. The first con that I notice is with the hot toys that the Iron Man is insecure. It's not keyed into the chest like uh, the XM is. So it kind of just wiggles around in there and you're kind of setting them in there. You can raise his knees and that kind of stabilizes them a little bit. But, you know, I wish they did put a slot in there where it actually stabilized him. And also, Iron Man's going to cost you 400 bucks. But, you know, that's really not a big deal because at $16.50 for both, that's definitely a lot better price than, you know, three or 4000 Don't get me wrong, the Hot Toys has presence. It's big, 29 inches tall, 19 inches wide. It's still a big piece, but it doesn't have that huge in-your-face center of attention type of presence like the Imaginary Marts or the XM does. And of course, with Hot Toys, they never addition, so they sell as many as they can. That's pretty much like their business model. So you're going to see a lot of these pieces. And of course, this is a re-release. I bet you there's even going to be another re-release, especially it's probably going to be the Infinity War Hulkbuster. If it's, you know, that's my guess. Anyway, looking at Imaginary Mars. I read on their site as fiberglass, like uh, I don't know how much fiberglass it is. It doesn't really go in detail, but I don't know how I feel about that. And of course it doesn't have Iron Man Incorporation, but this one was built first 2016. So they didn't have Iron Man Incorporated. I'm sure XM put it in there to top their piece. And of course the price is going to cost you in total probably about three, 3,000 bucks. It's not going to be cheap but you're getting a really large piece. So, but that's gonna be the price. That's gonna be one con of it. And you're not gonna be able, it's so big, you're not gonna be put it, be able to put it in a cabinet. Maybe you can if you have a big enough cabinet, but it's gonna be a challenge. It's really big, really heavy. The base is the biggest con in my opinion. It's almost like they, it's just like, I mean, look at this. It just looks like a pile of dirt. Um, it seems like they put most of the work into the Hulkbuster, but they really forgot about the base. So in comparison to XM, XM really put a lot of work in the base. They really didn't chintz out on that. So the cons for the XM Studios, not too many cons. Of course, beast mode, it's huge. So it's large. You're not going to be able to put that in your small cabinets or anything. It's you know, at, at 25 inches wide, it's going to be have to be on its own table, in my opinion. I mean, it's going to have to be at least, you know, a 30 inch table just to meet the depth of this. Anyway, price 2400 to 3000 Of course, same problem. In total with shipping, probably about $4,000. So it's not going to be cheap. This is really going to be painful. And of course, no swap outs. Other than the Iron Man coming in and out, it it is what it is. You just put it there it's either with Iron Man or not so you can't pose it anyway 
Okay, that's gonna do it with all the specs. Um, I guess I could have expanded that a little more with the actual design and everything. I'm just trying to keep the, the video as short as possible. But anyway, you're probably asking which one's the best. A lot of you are saying the XM Hulkbuster. And I don't blame you, that one is an awesome statue. That's definitely a grail, one to get. In my opinion, if I was to compare it, Jet Power Optimus, the grail of Optimus's, same with the XM Hulkbuster. But I'm not gonna say it's the best because there's a few things you have to consider. The XM and the Imagineer Mars, they're just beastly. They're huge. I mean, those things, you're not gonna be able to put them in the cabinet, so you're gonna have to have it at their own table. And they, they both have their advantages. The Imaginarium Arts Hulkbuster is really cool. I like how you can pose it. And definitely, if you're gonna put it on display with other statues, like a Hulk or something, that one is really awesome. Especially when you put it in the attack mode. They have so many switchable arms, especially on that left arm, that you can change the dynamic of the whole statue just by those swap outs put on defense mode and they recently made a jackhammer for it. So a lot of options for that. But that one's huge. Remember, that one's a 29.5, almost 30 inches tall, just to the sh to the height of the Hulkbuster. There's no Iron Man in that one. Now the Hulkbuster XM Hulkbuster has the Iron Man. Hot Toys has the Iron Man. And to me, that's one of the most important characteristics of the Hulkbuster is the Iron Man. So that's really cool that I think those two separate themselves from the Imaginarium Arts with the Iron Man Incorporation. Now with the XM Studios Iron Man, I like how it's keyed into the body when you put them in there. And there's a separate base for it. Um, that is really cool because that also changes the dynamic of that Hulkbuster. If you put Iron Man in the chest, the focus is more on uh, Iron Man as opposed to the Hulkbuster. So it's almost like an inanimate Hulkbuster. Iron Man's doing all the action. Now, if you take Iron Man out and put it on its separate stand, which is pretty cool, close up the Hulkbuster and put the Hulkbuster as the Hulkbuster, um, he is... The focus is more on an animate Hulkbuster, so it's the Hulkbuster you're looking at and not the Iron Man, which is really cool. But other than that, I wish there was some more swap outs on the XM Hulkbuster. Pretty much the Iron Man's the only real swap out on that, but that one's definitely a beast, that XM Hulkbuster. Now, one thing I want to note is on the XM Hulkbuster is the, the base, the base is awesome. They didn't chintz out on the base, they actually put a lot of detail in the base as opposed to the Imaginarium Arts. That one's the biggest drawback was the base. It's almost like they didn't put the work, they just put it all in the Hulkbuster and they just made a dirt looking base for the Imaginarium Arts, which is one thing that XM did. They made an awesome base. So, I've been talking about those two, Hot Toys. Hot Toys Hulkbuster. This is an awesome Hulkbuster. It still has a lot of presence. Remember, it's still 30 inches tall. So it's just as tall as the other ones, you know, but it's, it's six scale, it's not quarter scale, and it's not as girthy as the other two. But there is a lot of R&D, a lot of engineering, a lot of articulations on this. So you can almost do any pose with this thing. Uh, with Iron Man, and you know, the, the elbows move, the fingers, the wrists, the elbows on this side, even the torso, the legs, and a bunch of flaps. A lot of cool things you can do with this Hulkbuster. And the cool thing about the Hot Toys Hulkbuster is that it's space saving. So 11 inches deep, 19 wide. So you could put this in a cabinet if you want. You probably can't use Iron Man up there. You're probably gonna have to take him off. You're probably gonna, cause the, we're running at about 30 inches. Without Iron Man, is 21, 22 inches. So you could put it in the detox. So um, that's one of the biggest uh, characteristics of the Hot Toys Hulkbuster. But the most distinguishing feature that separates the Hot Toys from the rest is a price. Now, 1650, I say that because it's 1150 for the statue. You got 400 for the Iron Man. Depending on what Iron Man you put in here, I don't even know what other Iron Mans. I'm figuring you could probably put any one, you, any six scale in there. But you're probably looking about 400 for the Iron Man. And plus the shipping, for me it was 37 bucks to ship this big thing, which is surprising. 
but 37 bucks i'm figuring i'm just gonna say 100 150 bucks just to be fair because uh you know sideshow is only two hours from me so um let's say uh, 150 bucks so you're looking at 1650 1600 1650 for this thing now if you compare 1650 to 4000 or 1650 to 3000 i mean you've really got to think about that because you know it's a fraction of the cost it's not like this doesn't have any presence it's huge this thing is big it's it's definitely a showstopper not as much as the XM, but it's still a giant, awesome piece. So, uh, what if I'm going to say value-wise, the Hot Toys is a winner, hands down. With the engineering, the R&D, the work they put into this, this is the uber doozy of Hot Toys, in my opinion. It's really good quality, and it has a lot of poseable features. But the price is going to be the the the, the factor that makes this my choice. Now, if you had a fat wallet, you don't have a budget, you have a lot of disposable income, I'm gonna say the XM Hulkbuster. That's hands down. You could afford it, just get, get get the king, get the king. Anyway, that's all I can say about the Hulkbuster. So um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Next time we're gonna do uh, my first custom piece. This is from uh, Zion Art. It is Revan, the Jedi Knight version. So it's a Star Wars piece. It's actually one of my first Star Wars pieces. And I'm excited to review that. And we're gonna get that started tomorrow. And then also, um, we're going to be doing our uh, Gladiator Hulk for this guy because we're trying, going to try to make a little scene with him. Uh, the Gladiator Hulk isn't as big. He's 16 inches, so he probably goes uh, up to about right here. So we will see. It's the wrong Gladiator, but it's the Gladiator I have. We're going to try to do something with it. Anyway, join me for those. I hope you enjoyed my video, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.